Greetings, geeks. Welcome to geek to me Crafts, where I help you source affordable craft supplies, as well as provide tutorials and DIYs. Today, I have Dollar Tree walkthroughs. I went to two different Dollar Trees, so you will um, get the first day after Christmas and then two days after Christmas walkthrough. So the day after Christmas, all of the Christmas items go on half price. So you would get each item for 50 cents instead of the normal dollar. I didn't pick up too many Christmas items, but I did take a look at all of the new stuff that they are making room for. Um, all the gardening supplies are out, which is such a tease. Um, I live in the Midwest as middle of the country as you could get and we have lots of snow coming our way so gardening is not on my mind right now pins are though be sure you stick around for my next video i will be trying out a bunch of new pins i picked up at the dollar tree and of course they have a wonderful selection of name brand crayola items the stickers are always really good too. I, I did pick up the Jurassic Park pack for my son. He is obsessed with dinosaurs. I've never noticed all of these Crayola glues before either, so those were pretty cool. Look at these wreath forms. They have the 18, the 14 inch, the square, and the one with the wire um, connectors, I guess, already attached to it. I don't know anything about how to make wreaths, but I'm gonna try and of course I'll record it. They did have a ton of mesh too. I went ahead and picked up the green and yellow because that's gonna go for my um, St. Patrick's Day wreath. I will also be making a Valentine's Day wreath as well. I am seeing lots of requests for that in the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, so I definitely wanna get those in soon. Um, let's see here. Really, really cute farmhouse inspired ribbon. I picked up the lemon and the gingham. I will be incorporating the gingham in the St. Patrick's Day wreath that I will be making in the spring. Here's just a shot of this um, crafter square aisle. It is double sided aisle at this location. It's usually a mess like this, um, but it's actually better it's usually better stocked as well. So there's always stuff on the bottom rack, but all of those um, little spikes on the wall generally are full of stuff. So just kind of scanning through what we got today. Lots of activities for kids. My kids are a little too young for this kind of stuff still. So for the sake of not having to clean up a mess, I'm steering clear of some of this for right now. I did pick up some things for their stockings at Christmas time, and they are thoroughly enjoying it and making a mess of my house. Okay, so on the other side are the uh, hardware pieces for crafting as well as the rotary cutter. Uh, this location did have it. And then does your location have those little idea cards? Not all of mine do, and so I just wanted to get a shot of that one. They have paints, glitter glue, stencils, What's this? An interesting color. They do have the Mod Podge and the wooden items. This is looking pretty picked over today. The flower, the star. I was looking for the heart today and I couldn't find it. So look what I found. I only found one. 72 wooden pieces come in the Jenga box and there are lots of ideas out there of what we can do with those. I might need to run back to this location and pick up one of those hearts. I needed it for my Valentine's Day wreath and I didn't take it. Shame on me. Clothespins, Mod Podge, wood glue. Painting those things are always fun with little kids too. Uh, this location only had one tie-dye kit and then they had a restock of the wall tiles. I also found this Harry Potter game. Of course I had to pick it up. Okay, so this is location number two. I finally did my nails. You're welcome. <laughs> um, they did have on the, the this glass display case, they had new candle holders in clear purple. 
pink and kind of an in-between pink and red color. They also had these huge vases. I guess you could put candles in those as well. So they're starting to get some of their Valentine's Day stuff out, but this location in general didn't have a whole lot. But they did have a whole collection of the wooden blocks. So I went ahead and grabbed a second one of those. Just scanning through here. Their crafters square aisle is not as big as the other location and it was looking fairly picked over as well. However, these are new. They have metallic pencils, charcoal pencils, sketching pencils. They had double ended ones as well as some good crayons. And I've seen these before. I don't really have a use for these so I haven't picked them up but I do use those glitter sheets. They have a sticky on the back of them so if you cut them out with your Cricut or something like that you can stick that glitter paper onto other things. So just a tip on that. So going through the rest here lots of glitter glue, sequins, vase fillers, pom-poms and feathers. They still have the cotton yarn, which are good for making coasters because they're more absorbent than the acrylic. And if you're into using hot glue, those pink fingertips are supposed to protect your fingers. I haven't used them, so I don't know if they work. They have some paint looking a mess, aprons, wood blanks, I would really like to do something with those dowels at some point. I just don't have any ideas right now. If you've got a good one, leave me a comment. Let me know. And lots of nice stickers and stencils. They did have some Crayola items down here. That llama looked cute. It's like a glitter poster. They had some Star Wars metal assembly kits. My kids are a little too young to know what that is, so I didn't grab them this time, but they do look cool. One of the other locations that I was at last week had different um, starships that you could choose from. Okay, so more Crayola items. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. I'm actually an affiliate for Crayola. So if you're interested in checking out some of the things that Crayola has to offer, they have a lot of new items that came out for the holidays. Go ahead and um, check that link out and enjoy. I love Crayola. Um, Dollar Tree is really good for blanks as well. So if you need to make a bag that says something specific, they always have blank bags. They have blank t-shirts. All the sizes and colors vary. So you, you know, if you're looking for a really specific one, they might not have it, but they did have the purple mesh here as well. I didn't grab the purple because I think my Valentine's wreath is going to be this bright pink, which is a little further down the shelf right there. So I'm going to do mine in that pink. I grabbed a couple more rolls of that because it just didn't look as much as the purple mesh did. So then here's the wall stickers. You can make wall stickers out of vinyl with your Cricut if you have one or your silhouette. And I've never talked about these before, but they do have pet food and water bowls in two different sizes. I like to use those metal bowls for paint. These are really neat too. You put alcohol or fingernail polish remover in these and there's a pump action on the top of it. They also have all of these really tiny, cute, organizing boxes in different colors. Here's the baby aisle. They have some flannel that you could use to piece together and make your own pieced quilt. And then I haven't ever seen these before, but if you need to add rhinestones to something, be sure to check out the makeup aisle because they do have a um, kit right now with the rhinestones. Did you know that Crayola had fingernail polish? I did not, so that was pretty cute. Okay, here's the organization aisle. This aisle is better than some of the other locations that I've been at, so I wanted to record this one really quick. They had vacuum bags, they had the cloth-sided boxes, which I use all over my house, and they had the wire shelving in all different shapes and sizes. I did grab a this rack right here to go over the door. My son got several from every family member, I think, um, Nerf guns for Christmas, and we need some way of hanging them up. 
And then I, these baskets are really cute too. I used these as gift baskets over the holidays, but I didn't know they came in three different sizes. So that was really cool. I also like these clear organizing brush holders. I needed to expand my bathroom collection. So I grabbed one of those. And then these are cake tin holders, but I think you could use any of these items for craft supplies as well. And then those small boxes are also available with the gray lid. These are cool. These are foil backsplash wall stickers. I think you could cut those out and apply them to all kinds of different shapes and sizes as well. And then back to the blanks, they have blank kitchen supplies. You can add your own vinyl or painted sayings to them. I have a video that I'll link below about those oval tiered um, trays. I made a three tier tray for Christmas and then decorated it. I left it fairly plain though so that I could redecorate it for the different holidays. So make sure you stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss those videos as I upload them. And then here's another little shot of some rhinestone things. These were really, really pretty masks for Mardi Gras, but I thought that you could add them to any kind of wreath. And then over in the clearance section, these were 50 cents and they are the rhinestone fingernail decorating kits that you could use. Of course, you could put the rhinestones on anything. So, hey, if you got value out of this, thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I will reply to your comments, so please engage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.